Hello and welcome to Tabletop Oddity, my name is Jay and today I want to talk about Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker being announced as operative versions for Star Wars Legion and obviously you know this is some pretty big news, I'm a little bit late with it than usual just because I was out last night but you know that's that's the way things go. Um, there's some really interesting stuff here and what really gets me excited the most is the possible back changes for Vader and this new Vader being actually probably usable. I think Luke is perhaps uh, maybe not as good as the car set look, but we'll have a through. We'll have a look through what everything is. Uh, we'll talk about what this means for both these operatives, uh, the future of, of, of models getting like alternate versions, and you know the old models. So let's go through what was announced, and then we'll talk about you know what this might mean going forward. If at the end of this video you do like and subscribe, uh, do yeah, uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> just crack on, just crack on. So yes, so we're getting these now. The one interesting thing here, right off the bat. Uh, these are two models of uh, two versions of units that we've already had. Obviously, we've had Luke as in the car set as a commander, Darth Vader as a car set commander. These are operatives, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, they will take up a different slot. You're not going to be able to run two of them. You can't have double Luke, but obviously you can have. Uh, well, I was going to say you can have Luke and Sabine. You actually couldn't. You could have Luke, Leia, and Jin, maybe some. You know, if you really wanted. Um, and the what, interesting thing straight off the bat is featuring new miniatures and command cards interchangeable with commander units found in the Star Wars Legion core set. I'm not 100% sure if the and there is appropriate. Um, it's featuring new miniatures, yes, and command cards interchangeable with uh, commander units. Hopefully you can use these models as, as like the commander versions. That would be pretty cool. The way that Luke is posed without having these giant lightsabers stick out over like nine foot or whatever it would be in real life yes it sticks out a little bit but people have poses you know he, he needs to have the lightsaber so that's interesting having these commander cards um usable by um the commander versions of them rather than the operatives that also gives interesting possibilities and we've seen that with Darth Vader's three pip um so we'll have a look at what cards you get it's a way of getting false guidance they're going to give you that straight off the bat um Lucas himself he's gone up to 200 points I think he might be. I think this might be a little bit of an overbalance, but uh, there's just my hot take on the issue. Um, he's got jump one, charge, everything's the same there, deflect, disengage, which means if he's in unit in combat with just one unit, he can feel he just move out of it. That's all right. Um, he's immune to pierce, and he's got master of the force. Um, and you'll he's, he can't take stims. He's lost the um, is it the gear slot, and he's got the train the commander one. Basically, he can't take stims. <laughs> um, which is a nerf, really, to Luke and pretty much all of these guys. Like, Vader can't take it. He can take training upgrades, which is interesting. Um, I say training upgrades. Yeah, training upgrades. Um, he surges to a crit, which, yeah, I think that was with the same as the last Luke. Um, seven wounds instead of six. Um, yeah, I like it. There's nothing that interesting to say about him. He's essentially very, very similar. Um, he doesn't have a ranged weapon, so, you know, save a throw. Might be interesting on him because there's no ranged on him as of right now. Um, his command card that we see here is uh, you gain surge to block and um, it stops you attacking for that turn and you can pick two units and stop them attacking for that turn. Um, somebody in my Discord was like, it's like a movie where everybody just has to stop and the hero protagonist moment, uh, which is pretty interesting. I think mainly you could use that with, I think I heard Ellis maybe talk about this briefly in his video, uh, you could charge different units. Uh, and then stop other units attacking and it just really that turn everybody does nothing <laughs> on the uh, on your opposing side that's a pretty interesting use of it um all in all i think like he looks good but is he as good as the original one I, like he's 30 points more 60 40, 40 points more yikes I, I mean i'm not so sure about that uh yeah Four courage instead of three. That's pretty good. Didn't realize that. That's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, it's a nice way of getting these surge tokens and the three suppression. At least you're going to be able to get them for them. Um, and that one card, the uh, well, we've already seen this, but you can see a full version of it if you want it. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I just read it out, but you, you know, feel free. The sculpts, obviously incredible. Um, I think these are looking like much better than probably like what we've seen before for Luke's and Vader's um, sculpts because. FFG are just getting better with it. I presume this is going to be the newer kind of plastic as well, but um, I don't think there's any confirmation here. Um, and then obviously we've got Vader. Now Vader for me is the most interesting part. By the way, we're unsure at the moment if you can actually use all six of the command cards for that person. So like, can Luke use all like his three old ones and his three new ones? We don't know. We don't know. What you can do though is use pick, take, pick out of the six. You can at least take a minimum of three. 
Uh, whether or not you can take four, five, or six, we, we don't know. We don't know. Uh, we'll probably, I th like odds are, nothing says you can't right now, but I think something might get changed where you can't. You, you end up at might maybe a rules update that says you can only take three. Um but we'll see. It'd be nice if you could take all six. It would make like a loot layer list with all six command cards well, whatever command cards you wanted. In interesting at least. Um and then obviously we've got Vader, right? So this the the main thing here is these three pip, which we don't actually get a full version of it, so I'm gonna have to badly read. But basically I think you play it in the um in the deploy unit stage, right? You, you deploy your command card, you use this command card in the deploy unit stage, and then you gain infiltrate and scout I think it might be scout one, right? Scout one. But infiltrate on the original Corset Vader could be hype, right? Just getting him well, like range two away from somebody, like right up in the faces. Ooh, that could really do some damage. Obviously, Vader then will probably die. But if Vader kills a lot of things, Vader will be happy. <laughs> so, uh, yes, that is very interesting for the corset Vader. But this operative Vader, no slouch himself. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, that, the, the force, to, the, Force uh, power that we get. Uh, you gain demoralize one after you rally step. Um, an enemy unit at range one to two gains one suppression token. That's actually pretty nice for three points. It's a force power. You, I could wipe that on. Um, he only has two instead of three. He sort of has, you know, he's got one less, but he's still got Master of the Force, which is good. And um, he's got Jedi Hunter. Uh, people are saying this is sort of, um, in a sense, with the Separatists and the Republic coming out, uh, maybe this is more in line, like right? more of a a way of the rebels and the imperials dealing with that maybe maybe they're sort of like syncing them up a little bit um there's a couple of things about vader he's 170 points in this version he's got two less wounds he does take suppression instead of you know being immune to suppression he has a ranged weapon by default which i'm i'm like ooh, ooh, ooh. um which is blast and scatter so blast means you ignore cover scatter is probably going to do one of two things either you'll throw it and then people move out of the way or you'll throw it and it'll just go to the next unit but i think it'll have a limit probably just once i can't imagine it just scattering along the line because that would be op but um yeah we'll have to wait and see uh so what do we say he's got deflect immune pierce jedi hunter so that's what i'm saying it's, it's in line with the new rules like grievous etc uh, master of the force relentless of course so he's say similar ish there um, but then he's also got Spur, so Spur lets you take a Suppression Token to increase your movement by one. Uh, so basically you're going to have a movement to Vader, which is strong. <laughs> so yeah, Vader's going to be Speed 2 with uh, 5 red dice, he's lost a red dice, uh, still in Pack 3, PS3. But you could basically double, you can, you have that 2 move, 2 move attack, which is strong as anything. So getting Vader into the right place now, well this Vader, more possible. Uh, just because you can increase his movement and that command card opens up the possibility of all Vader possibly getting slotted in. Now a bit of me thinks that this new Vader is probably just more like, it's probably just better. Uh, the downside to him would be you would uh, certainly need a different commander because you wouldn't have a commander, you'd only have an operative. So um, yeah, I because I mean you could take, but the thing is you could take this Vader and Vader's um, and it's what, like, this V is 80 points, that's 250 push your upgrades, 280 maybe, which is a lot better in terms of like taking Vader and his upgrades, which was like 230, and then you probably didn't want to take anybody else because you'd already spent so much on Vader, and then it was then it was very hit and miss, whereas this Vader is actually likely to do stuff. So um, for sure, I think, I mean, the sculpt of it is all, all fantastic. I thought we might get the Star Wars Celebration sculpt to appease the people who uh, didn't get that, me included, I sort of disappointed that I don't have it, but... Um, there you have it, and these are the in thing. Vader sculpt again. It's more dynamic, <laughs> but it's a little bit. I mean, I I think I like Luke's better, but that's just me. But all in all, yeah, I'm. I think Vader's definitely interesting. The most interesting one here, just because he can enable old Vader, and he obviously he himself in this version very interesting as well. Uh, Luke, I think I think two hundred point. I mean, unless I'm missing something from this Luke, maybe his command cards or something like that. Um, I can't help but feel like the old week might be better. Yes, Master of the Force could be imperative. The fact that he can take, he can just get Force Push every turn could be pretty strong on Luke. Um, he's still got double move, jump, charge, so he's still nimble. He's got, um, he's still got, is it, oh, he's got seven black dice. He's got seven black dice. Seven black dice. I mean, unless I can't count, which is 
highly possible. I am quite tired. Uh, yeah. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Maybe changing my mind. I mean, it's good. Is it 40 points better? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But um, this is very interesting for the future, right? So we've now got like alternate sculpts, alternate versions of models, which is really exciting. Um, obviously, I think the to come to a point where we need to see uh, like Yoda and all this kind of stuff. Um, I'm a little bit surprised it's sort of this quick, but I guess these are the iconic characters and then they just wanted to mix them up because people love these characters like Luke, Vader, our Star Wars essentially, aren't they? So, um, these are expected, but we could see stuff like an extra layer, a different hand, all the ones that people really like, um, and that's exciting. I, I, if the models are interchangeable, Luke could be slightly buffed in the competitive scene just by not having his lightsaber stick up, because it's much easier to hide a horizontal thing than it is to hide a vertical thing over like a barricade, um, and Vader again getting mixed up here. Um, I think this will please some Vader fans, uh, me included. Um, We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, alternate sculpts or alternate mo like models, alternate versions of them, really cool. I think I sort of, I don't know if they've done it as an operative just to be really more unique um, or or what, or will we see alternate versions of commanders? Don't think it really matters too much uh, as long as they keep it interesting. Um, yeah, very exciting stuff. I'm off because I've run out of things to say. But yeah, I mean, I didn't expect this. The timing of this is weird. Um, it was a little bit leaked as well, but I wasn't around to make the video. The timing of this is, uh, I think maybe they wanted to announce this at Gen Con and it got leaked, so they just made the article. Uh, who knows for sure? We're going to get a lot of stuff at Gen Con, and Gen Con's about two weeks away, so just keep that in, in mind. Well, I think we're going to get a lot of stuff at Gen Con. You never know, they might skip Gen Con this year for Star Wars Legion, because... You know, we're getting the Clone Wars and stuff like that. But I suspect we'll just get Clone Wars stuff and they'll, that'll be that. Anyway, this isn't that kind of video. I'm off. <laughs> Have a most beautiful day and goodbye.